Right, hey guys, and welcome back. I'm way overdue on uh, making videos, and uh, I know it's been a really busy, you know, month for me. I've been, uh, I've actually been uh, preparing myself to move to a new house, and uh, it's been a lot of work. Me and my wife, we've been uh, working around the clock, basically. Uh, you know, we have our jobs, and then we we try to fit in appointments with uh, our contractors. Uh, you know, the furnitures. So many things to get for a new house, and uh, it, it it has been quite a uh, uh, you know a, an experience for us, and I think it's been it's been mostly positive. We've been having a good time exploring and you know shopping and figuring out stuff together, and I think it's been it's been doing really good for us, and uh, thankfully it's been keeping us you know occupied as well. Um, you know after work and whatever, uh, we've not been. Uh, you know, unsure of what to do. We've always had stuff to do, and I think sometimes that's that's the best thing you can hope for. But unfortunately, I have not had any time to, uh, you know, be able to make any videos, and that has been kind of, I don't know, at the back of my mind. And I felt that I gotta start pumping out some numbers, otherwise, um, you know, I'm not doing my, I'm not doing anyone a favor actually. So um, yeah, I, I I do owe people some reviews, but at the same time. I do owe myself some movies, and uh, I managed to watch two or three movies as of recent. And I, you know, I, I really need to make uh, some of these into what do you call these uh, reviews? And I haven't got you know stepped on it. So um, before I get to the bigger one, which is um, you know King Kong Godzilla. Uh, I'm gonna want to talk about nobody, and nobody was, uh, uh, you know, one of a. It was an R-rated film, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's an R-rated film. Uh, it's by Universal Pictures, and um, I, I'm I was actually quite happy with this film. I really liked it. It feels like they're making the entire John Wick um, sort of like action films into its own kind of genre-like thing. Because, uh, of course, it's very, very reminiscent of uh, John Wick. Considering, uh, you know, there's like the initial hook of people, you know, paying a visit to him. Uh, he gets like, uh, you know, uh, attacked or something like that. He doesn't get beaten up badly or anything. And this is uh, very much more so of a family story. Because John Wick is by himself, whereas in this... Um, Bob Odenkirk is acting uh, as what's this guy's name, Hutch, and uh, Hutch has a family, and um, he he's been kind of keeping his past a secret, and after the initial hook of people actually assaulting him in the house, uh, it it is revealed later that when he goes on a little uh, revenge journey to try to find out who these people were, uh, that he has a long history of violence and. Um, it's, this is a more so a film of um, of self redemption and discovery. It's not really a John Wick uh, all out revenge film, uh, you know. And even in John Wick, he sort of is finding himself like you know he you know you leave the mafia, but the mafia never leaves you kind of thing. And uh, that's that's what John Wick has. But this one is more of the family and less of the and more of self discovery. Whereas John Wick is less family, less self-discovery, and more revenge. So I found this an interesting take as well. Because it is, uh, of course, taking elements from John Wick. But it has its own story. And I like that very much. Uh, now, first of all, all of the fight sequences, the action sequences, the, uh, what do you call this, acting of Bob Odenkirk. I think all of these were like the, uh, the plus points in this film. I felt that all of these were nice, strong. It's interesting to see uh, Bob in this light. I have not really seen him in an action film before. And a lot of people don't really know him. Uh, he's the guy from Breaking Bad. He uh, first, I think, I believe he's introduced as Saul, uh, a lawyer. And I believe they made a spin-off uh, called uh, Better Call Saul. Uh, it's his own little series, which I never watched. But uh, I, I'm not sure I might look into it. Uh, I did watch Breaking Bad though and uh, I, can, I can clearly see he has lost quite a bit of weight over time and uh, it's really impressive how he has come to this form where he's able to uh, really you know be all out in an action film and it's pretty pretty impressive I must say. So he has a family um, 
who consists of a wife and two kids. And the wife is, uh, I, what was her name? Uh, she's Queen Hippolyta in Zack Snyder's Justice League. Uh, the actress is, uh, come on, what's her name? Connie Nielsen, right. And uh, she does a, she does a decent job as well as the wife, but doesn't have that much of a role to play. I wish that the um, the family had slightly more of an emotional or rather a, uh, a better impact, uh, because this story is more so about the family. Because uh, Hutch left his past life behind so that he could have this family, and. Um, you know, I feel that they should have been more of a pulling point uh, for him to stay, uh, you know, as who he is. But um, interesting enough, the story goes in the uh, opposite direction, uh, which is not not necessarily a bad thing. But it goes to a point where it just shows that he just wants to have more action and more fun. And that is where they introduce um, two of his uh, kind of buddies. And one of it is Christopher Lloyd. Uh, who was his dad, and the other buddy is, uh, where is the other, is it this guy? The barber, no, not this guy. Uh, there's a guy who was on the radio, and I can't remember. He only shows up towards the end, essentially. You don't really see much of him. Uh, but he does come in, and he does play a reasonably important part. He's like a friend who helps uh, Hutch when he's in trouble, and uh, the end and just ends up in a big, big fight sequence. So overall, the story is very simple. Uh, it's very straightforward. Uh, I just like the little, little elements in this uh, of how they leave little points just enough to satisfy you that there is a story. Uh, but the main, like the core of this film is all about the action. And I felt a lot of the action was pretty uh, impressive. Uh, of course, most of it we have seen in the likes of John Wick, the likes of Mission Impossible. There's so many other action films out there that are just, uh, you know, so, so impressive and uh, good on the eyes. You know, you, you get to see all these little zoom in close up moments. There are slow motion shots. Um, and then there's also like the big oh and wows and all of these, uh, you know, impressive moments that are just really cool and really fun. So, yep, it was pretty much a fun film for me, uh, but I have to say that I'm, I can't rate this really high because, obviously, it's not going to be the greatest film in the world. So, let's just check it out. Uh, I believe IMDb gave it quite... Uh, yeah, they gave it a 7.5, which I feel is a reasonable rating um, if you really like it. Uh, for me, I like the story, I like the action, but uh, as a movie, if you ask me to rate it, it's just not that impressive of a film. Uh, it doesn't have a you know well fleshed out story. There's a lot of um, you know like what ifs and uh, you know uh, who is he exactly? What's the real backstory? It's similar to how when John Wick first started, they couldn't fledge out his uh, backstory in the first film because they were just testing the waters. And once they realized people actually like this sort of thing, they went for a second film where they actually fledged out more so of a backstory for him and showed more about the mafia and stuff. So I really hope that this film has a follow up. For me, it's a 6 out of 10. Um, and uh, do I need to pull up a card for that? I might as well, right? Uh, let me just pull up a text here. Let's just make this thing go. In 6 out of 10. There we go. And let me just drag this here. Alright. So for me, it's a 6 out of 10. Uh, it's, it's okay. It's not going to be the most impressive thing. But it's a fun little film. Uh, action sequences are amazing. The music was decent. Uh, the characters are not that great. I, I would like to rate it a 5, but uh, I feel that it's a little bit harsh considering I don't really know uh, too much about the waters. But for me, it's either a 5, uh, you know, 5 or a 6. You know, like, it's like a 5.5, .5, but I don't give points. So it's either a 5 or a 6 for me. I'm just going to give it the benefit of the doubt and leave it as a 6. Uh, I might have to have a second watch, uh, you know, like a rewatch or something if I want to know more about it. But it took me a, a little while to get this film. Because um, the cinemas here are closed and all of that, so I had to like find a way to watch it, uh, you know, through uh, Astro, and it was really tricky for me because I gotta use the internet and stuff like that. Uh, but anyway, that's it for me. Uh, as you can see down in the bottom right corner, there's a lot of interesting stuff coming up, especially the uh, after the Shang Chi trailer dropped. I um, you know, I mean, I, I don't really want to review this trailer, but I'm lo looking forward to the films as well. So I'll be right back with King Kong versus uh, uh, Godzilla. Godzilla versus Kong. I, either one of it. I'll be back. Adios, guys.